Carlos Zeus. Today we go back 500 years ago to when the Aztecs ruled the North South American area or the Mesoamerican area. <coughs> We're going to send down a reporter today by the name of Ashton Wisemeem who will gather information unknown to researchers and archaeologists about the Aztecian Empire. Let's go see him now. Ashton Wiseman, CNN. What do you plan on doing in Mesoamerica? So they're going to send me out as a spy down to Mesoamerica 500 years ago, in like 15, 12, around then. And I'm going to see their lifestyle. I'm going to report back. Hopefully I don't get caught. I hear about some bad stuff that the Aztecs did. And I'm just going to have fun and try my best. See you later. Thank you. Thank you, Ashton. Their diet was mostly vegetarian-based. Four camel flat table was used to make the tortillas. People went to work without breakfast, and they ate corn porridge at about 10 a.m. Dinner was only for parties and banquets. I and gum. It's cooking time, it's cooking time with, you know who, Cameron. Today we're going to be learning how to make corn porridge. Mmm, we're kind of starving, right? No. But before we do that, we got to get our producers over here to fix over that tilted camera. No, dang it, no, don't fill up, no, okay. That's good, that's, that's good, that's good, that's good. A little more, it's still tilted. No. Good. So what we're going to do today is by like opening up your pack of corn, okay? Just going to hang it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to put in the milk. Look at that. Just look at that. Look and now we're going to side it off with the perfect purple snake venom. And now, enjoy your corn porridge. The royal family was the highest of the seven social classes. They owned the empire and were responsible for making decisions about the government. Below them were priests. They were the most educated class and ran schools to train rulers and priests. What formula do you use to factor our trinomic equation? You use Vieta's formula. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is that good? Third were the warriors. They carried out the wishes of rulers and priests, helping to expand the empire. Many soldiers came from the lower class, but earned privilege and honor by being good warriors. Tradesmen were in the middle class, along with craftsmen, who made the empire beautiful by importing or making goods. The lower class were peasants which was made mostly of farmers, growing food for everyone. The lowest class was slaves, who were made up of people who owed debt, criminals, or prisoners of war. The slaves were treated quite well. Children born to slaves were born free, and they could buy their freedom. Recreation. The Aztecs valued life of hard work. They enjoyed music, ball games, and board games. They made music with flutes, drums, and their voices. In the Aztecs, if a musician made mis a mistake, they would be punished or killed. Olama Itzi was a combination between soccer and basketball. In that sport, they could only touch the ball with their thighs, knees, and buttocks. 
and board games were also played in the village square or market. Women giving birth were honored as warriors because they were delivering the next generation of leaders and warriors. Pregnant women received medical care from a midwife. Midwives bathed the baby during naming. Boys received shields and arrows, while girls received brooms and distaffs. They were lifted to be shown to the gods, and if the mother died during giving birth, she got a burial Hello, of a warrior. Hello, my name is I am your midwife. <laughs> Don't chew gum or the baby will be born with a swollen mouth. Do not do not let the father go out at night or the child will be born with heart disease. Do not let look at anything red or the baby will be born upside down. <laughs> oh Keep my god, it's coming. it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Get out. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. oh, there's the baby. It's so oh. wonderful. The teacher was given an axe to cut the boy from school. Could you please cut me out of school? Yes, I will cut you out of school. Ah! <laughs> the marriages were arranged. <laughs> Oldest female relative carried the bride on their back. The men can take other wives. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may tie your clothes together. At the ceremony, they tied their clothes together. <laughs> the Aztecs saw war as a way to show superiority of life through God. Through war, Aztec extended empire. Boys received training from age 12. At age 17, boys had to be a, war a warrior for five years at no pay. As a boy continues to fight, he got more decorated uniforms. Battle started with loud war cries. The battle was not over until the temple was burned. There were two kinds of schools, Kamakak, run by peace and son, sons of rulers, and Telocho, sons of peasants, merchants were trained to be, to be rulers and high priests. The priests, were strict, the priests stri strictly punished boys by shaving their head. The girls were taught by their mother, weaving, cooking, and cleaning. Children who disobeyed were held over fire.
Women were known across the empire for weaving. The, a woman was blessed by Quetzalcoatl. Women were trained from an early age. They were given a distaff. They were known for making cloaks. The weaving was done on a backstop loom. The lower cloth weaved with fiber, and the higher cloth weaved with cotton thread. I'll just tell you when to stop. Whoa. Look what he just weaved. Nice. Men wore, wore a dress called maxiator linen cloth. Only nobles and war, warriors had a decorated cloak. Warriors were given special uniforms, according to rank. Bathed women were considered beautiful. They dyed their skin yellow. Tattoos with blue designs. They dyed their teeth red or black. The national dress was hippili or siliti. Markets were large squares in front of town's temples. Every day in large towns, the market would be held, and every five days in villages, the market would be held. Large varieties of goods were for sale, including slaves. Guards watched over markets, and to pay people, they used cloth or cacao beans. Aztecs were known as the people of the sun. The earth would only exist if the sun rose Get into each the day. Get into the the sun needed blo chamber. blood sacrifices to ride. To be sacrificed was to become like the gods. No cruciality was meant when they sacrificed. The heart! Prisoners of war, of war were victims of sacrifice. The method of sacrifice depended on the, the day when someone commits a crime. It was considered fate, so the punishment was part of God's plan. If a person stole something, he had to pay back three times the price or become a slave for that time. Repeated steaming, actuary, and publicity drunkenness were, were, was punished with the death sentence. No jails, just cages to, put, to, put, to be put to death, which could be drowning. I surrender. You're going away for a long time. Uh, what are you in for? I need to pay my debt. Uh, what are you in for? Caught trespassing. Got security footage. 
Are you seriously peeing right now? What? No. Oh, God. Oh, it's so cold. Oh. Ashton, don't pee again. Uh... Dear God. <laughs> oh, no, we're just filming a video for school. Oh, oh good. <laughs> uh... Thank you for watching Insider Edition. We hope you enjoyed our spying trip through the Aztecian area. We'd like you to know that our reporter, Ashton Wiseman, is now dead in a pool. We thank you for watching and hope you have a very nice night. Carlos Zeus, peace out. Sandals. Some haters say that love will stand.